What is Redis? Redis is a super fast in-memory database. Now, what does that mean? It means that instead of storing data on your hard drive, like traditional databases, Redis keeps it in RAM, which makes accessing and working with data a whole lot quicker. Redis was created to solve a specific problem, speed. Traditional databases, which save data to disk, can be slow when it comes to real-time use cases like caching, session management, or live chat apps. Redis solves this by keeping everything in memory, so accessing data is almost instant. Now, why is Redis so important, especially in modern applications? In general, Redis shines when you need things to happen fast, whether that's handling millions of requests, managing sessions, or caching. In AI, especially generative AI, Redis helps speed up things like model inference by caching frequently accessed data. This way, when your AI model is generating text, images, or even videos, Redis helps reduce the time it takes to deliver those results. Getting started with Redis is easy. You can install it locally or use cloud services like AWS or Google Cloud. Redis even comes with a simple command line interface. Redis is super simple, especially if you're using Python. First, you'll need to install Redis on your local machine or use a cloud service. I installed it locally, and this Linux command will start the Redis server. Next, install a Python library called Redis Pi to interact with Redis from Python code. Once the library is set up, let's connect to Redis using Python and store some data in the form of key value pairs. In this code, we connect to Redis, set a key value pair, and then retrieve it. That's it. You can see how simple it is to get started with Redis. Here's a real world example where Redis is used to cache the output of a text generating AI model in Python. Here, the Redis cache is used to store and quickly retrieve the text generated by the AI model for a specific prompt. If the same prompt is requested again, Redis serves the cached response, saving time and computational power. And that's Redis. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Python goodness. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.